were white like wool. So far, right? Comparison. Who better fulfills, fulfills that uh, description? That one right there. But also, what texture of hair you got on your head, man? Same thing as what? I want you to say it. Wool. Wool. So you have hair like who? God, right? Now, check it out. It goes a little further. Read on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So what color is brass, brother? Brown, right? Now, if you take some and put it in the furnace, what color it gets darker? Black, right? So if you take brass, fine brass, and you put it in the furnace, it's going to be your complexion. Your complexion. That's right. See that? So now you got hair like who? God. You got physical characteristics and complexion like who? God. According to the Bible, bro, who do you look like? Black man, well, guess what? Black is the color of your boots, bro. It's not a real nationality. I'm saying your physical appearance with your woolly hair, your dark skin, your, your features, who you look like according to the Bible. Damn, you heard that? You heard what he said? The brother said because of his woolly hair and his dark skin, he looks like a slave. I'm going to show you it's quite the opposite, bro. Real quick, let me get Revelations 1 and 1. I, that's why it was so important for me to stop you. Because you don't look like a slave. You look like God. And I'm going to show you that according to the Bible. That's in the Bible, yeah. I'm going to show you, bro. Hold on. I'm going to show you, bro. Listen. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the revelation of Jesus Christ means the revealing of Jesus Christ. When you reveal somebody through text, you describe their physical attributes, right? Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So now jump over to Revelations 1 and 14. This is going into the scripture. So we know that Revelation is talking about the description of Jesus Christ. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his hairs was, you know, all white like gray, but the texture of his head, uh, the texture of his hair was wool. What nation of people got wool, woolly hair? Matter of fact, I'm going to show you this real quick. Because a lie has been told that people are saying this is the image of Jesus. But now here's another depiction. So read that part again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So far, right? Comparison. Who better fulfills, fulfills that uh, description? That one right there. But also, what texture of hair you got on your head, man? Same thing as what? I want you to say it. Wool. Wool. So you have hair like who? God, right? Now, check it out. It goes a little further. Read on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So what color is brass, brother? Brown, right? Now, if you take some and put it in the furnace, what color it gets darker? Black, right? So if you take brass, fine brass, and you put it in the furnace, it's going to be your complexion. Your complexion. That's right. See that? So now you got hair like who? God. You got physical characteristics and complexion like who? God. So now, you, in one time, you says, I'm the image of a slave. But now, according to the Bible, you found out, because the scripture said, the truth is going to set you free. So according to the Bible, you are the image of who? God. Hey, say that real quick in the mic, bro. It says, I, I thought, I was, you know, like, say, you are the image of who? God. See that? In five minutes, man, your mind has been changed from you believing that you are the image of a slave to the image of God. Now, let me show you this real quick. What does that do for you? How does that benefit you? If you see somebody who look like you, right, and in past times, you like, man, that, like a slave, like a nigga. It, it's easy for you to rob him. Easy for you to shoot at him. Easy for you to have sex with his wife. Easy for you to do whatever you want to him because we've been programmed to see each other as niggas. You understand? But now, 
you see now, like, okay, we have made in the image of God. So not only you have self-respect for yourself and what you see in the mirror, but others who look like you too. How hard is it now going to be like, man, I can't do this brother wrong because if I try to steal from him, I try to do something to him, I don't see a nigga. I see somebody who's made in the image of God. That means right. value. You understand? So let me ask you this. Are women supposed to be pastors? Are women supposed to be pastors? So check this out. Check this out. I'm going to show you why it's very important for men to teach you. You said your grandmother's a pastor and she taught you the Bible, right? But why is it just now that you found out you were made in the image of God and not the image of a slave? If she's truly teaching you, nah, brother, we got the Bible in our hands. And I said, according to the Bible. So now I want to show you. You got it? Read. Numbers chapter 27, verse 16. Let the Lord, the God of all spirits, of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. Set a who over the congregation? Set a man over the congregation. So according to the laws of God, who's supposed to be over the congregation? Man, right? No, 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 no. Ain't no but when it comes to the laws of God. Boom, here it goes, right there. So now, right now, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. No, but say what you got to say. Ain't trying to interrupt you. You feel like Bible contradicts itself a little bit? Yes. There you go. Bang. Thank you. Let's say, do you believe it contradicts itself more than once? What about more than five times? What about more than ten times? Show me three right now. Oh, come on, bro. Show me three. I want you said it with confidence. I got you. I got you. I appreciate you. But let me, I appreciate it. I ain't trying to jump down on you. But what I'm trying to show you is this. This book right here has the solutions to all of your problems. This book right here, the Bible, is not written by man. It's written by God. And it, it was given to the Israelites. You understand? Yeah. Let me let me show. No, 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 no. I'm about to answer. You can't answer the question and walk away before you get the answer. You said, why is there so many versions? Why is there so many different things like that? All right. Do you want the answer or no? Do you want the answer or no? All right. So before you go, what's your nationality according to the Bible? No, see, you don't even know your nationality, but you're trying to leave early. Come on, bro. I need to show you who you are going to the Bible. See, dang, then you're going to walk away in ignorance, moving forward. Lord willing, you repent. Repent because you will die in your sins if you don't, brother. You are Israelite according to the Bible. You are not black or African American. You are an Israelite. Read. One came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So if you all are listening, you black, this message goes out to you blacks, Hispanics, and natives. The scripture says, in order to enter into life, you must keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. So now, again, the Christian church told you that God's laws were done away with. The Christian church told you that you no longer have to keep the commandments. But Jesus Christ just told you, in order to enter into life, you have to keep the commandments. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is